Welcome to another Samplitude Access tutorial uh, where we're going to have a look at the metronome settings. So getting the metronome working how you want it to work and understanding it. There's only a few options we need to look at in here. So away we go. I'm currently in the VIP. Location, VIP window. I'm going to press Y for the system options. System options, Samplitude Pro X4. So shut Shield him up. Um, and we're in the first option, which is audio setup, one of nine. audio setup. So this is a long list of um, options, main options that we can tab into. So you can either arrow down here or use first letter navigation. So I'm going to press M. M, MIDI, three and nine. M, metronome. And M again to metronome. So once we're in here, so let's have a look when we tab into it. Metronome. So the first option is metronome active during playback checkbox checked to clear checkmark press space bar alt plus p. Do we want it active during playback? You can check that. I've got it checked. That, you know that's your choice. Next one. Metronome active during recording checkbox checked alt plus r. You know, ju um, active during recording. Obviously, you'd want that checked if you're playing with a metronome. Next option. Metronome recount for recording measures. Edit one alt plus m. So the pre count. Uh, for recording measures is how many bars is it going to play before it starts recording. So I've got that set to one bar, so one. So when I press record, I'll get a one bar intro with the metronome and then recording will start. Set that to, you know, whatever you want. Tab again. Metronome play VIP during pre-count checkbox not checked. Alt plus V. Okay, play the VIP during the pre-count means if this is checked, you will hear any audio while the counting starts. So if you've got a one bar counting, you will hear one bar of whatever audio you've got in your project being played along with that metronome before the recording starts. See, so again, it's your own personal preference. It's unchecked at the moment. Tab again. Metronome recount clicks only checkbox not checked. Alt plus E. Okay, so pre-count clicks only. So this is if you don't want that and you only want the metronome playing um, and no audio, you can check this box. E even though I think by default that is um, what will happen. So this is a little bit of an odd setting in Samplitude, but again, it's there if you want to check it, if it makes a difference to you. Tab again. Metronome first beat read only edit. C. Program data magic Samplitude Pro X4 suite FX preset logic click CLK logic 1.12. Okay, so the next one is telling us that um, we're using a WAV file for the audio, for the for the metronome. So it's an audio file for the first beat and the the two, three, four beats. Okay, so the first beat will, will be a bit louder, a bit more accented. And by default, you will have um, a particular set of WAV files that sound your metronome. In here, you can then select from other options that Samplitude gives you, or you can import your own WAV files to act as the metronome or get any freely available metronomes and import them. So the first one that was on there tells us where it is. If we tab again, metronome button. we're on a button. And if we press um, space on there, it would allow us to browse to the location of that particular WAV file. So this is the first beat WAV file, pressing this, here will allow us to browse for that um, particular WAV file. Tab again. Metronome beats read only edit. C. Program data magic sample to Pro X4 suite FX preset logic click CLK logic 2.12. Okay, so the next one is the beats. That's the location of where my beats are. Tab again. Metronome button. And we've got another metronome button. Again, press spacebar to browse for the WAV file that's going to act as your beats. Tab again. Metronome volume, left right slider, 99%. Alt plus L. Got the volume of the metronome there. Change accordingly with the arrow keys or page up, page down. Metronome device, combo box, stereo master, one of seven. Alt plus D. And then we've got the device where it's going to be playing through. I just leave this at default because it's using your stereo master. Okay. But again, if you um, need to change that, you can in here. Metronome MIDI channel, edit 10. Alt plus H. Okay, then we get on to kind of MIDI metronome settings but we don't have a MIDI metronome. I don't advise using one unless you have a specific um, plugin that allows you to do that because by default um, the only one that's available is the uh, wavetable synth metronome. I'm pretty sure that uh, allows you to use a MIDI metronome but because of the latency it's not a good option. 
So we highly suggest using audio for your metronome. So we can just skip through these options. Metronome note value, edit. Metronome MIDI output device, edit. Metronome velocity, edit. Metronome velocity, edit. 60. Metronome MIDI output device, metronome audio, metronome radio. OK button, Alt plus O. And then we're back round to the OK button. Cancel button, Alt plus C. Cancel. I'll just cancel that. Enter. Sample Pro. So that's the options for setting the metronome options, you know, to suit your needs when you're recording, whether you want a one bar, two bar intro, whether you want to hear audio or not.